Good morning, Coconino. Are you ready to raise your pulse? Because we start right now. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up next week, and you know what that means? What, is, what does it mean, Rain? I get to eat my feelings away. Anyways, on that note, the sophomore and freshman class are selling cinnamon rolls for Valentine's Day. Buy one for that special someone, or in my case, for myself, for only $2. They'll be delivered on Valentine's Day to their last hour class. Make sure to get your orders in before February 12th. Once again, my cinnamon roll, I'll be enjoying it at Brandy's Restaurant and Bakery, Coconino's 21st Annual Art Show. All Panthers, you should come and support our art students. The art show will be February 9th through March 14th, reception for artists, parents, and students. Hey Jack, I heard there was some stressful and last second victories this past week, and we should go head to Panther Sports to see what our athletics have been up to. Welcome back, Panthers. I'm Keegan Trainer, And I'm Courtney Begay. And, and this, this is Panther Sports. What an ending to the be baseball season last Friday night. Uh, don't you mean basketball? Oh, yeah. Baseball is in the spring. It was a packed house. The support from our student section was incredible. Let's tell them what went down. To start off the night, the girls took on the Flagstaff Eagles at 5.30. Although our girls played their hearts out, they could not bring home that dub. We sure did. It was a tough game against Flag High. Thank you to all who showed up with your Panther spirit. Before we talk about the boys game, we want to congratulate the girls freshmen for going undefeated the whole season. Once again, congratulations freshmen girls. Continue on the rival game. Our boys played and got ready to take on the Eagles. They did not disappoint. It was another nail-biting game. Our student section was packed and could not be any more energetic. Well, of course the students were energetic. The boys were killing it all night, making incredible shots and executing very well. Incredible shots? You must be talking about Harding with that last second three. It was an incredible way to end the game to get that win. That's always a dream to score a buzzer beater. With that buzzer beater, the regular season has come to an end. But there's great news. Our girls and boys will be in the fight for state. They'll be playing their games here at home. Boys will be playing at 6.30 today, and girls will be playing on Tuesday. Good luck on the fight for state. Now let's keep up the great work. And good luck to spring sports on your tryouts this week. Hope you guys do well. Let's keep, keep grinding. grinding. Now, now back, back to, to headquarters. headquarters. Congratulations, guys. You could say that was a stylish win. Speaking of stylish, the bookstore is having a t-shirt design contest. There will be prizes for first and second, third place designs. The winning design will be determined by the teachers and the office staff. The first place design will be sold in the bookstore. Please submit your designs to Ms. Crowther in the bookstore before Friday, February 16th at 3 p.m. Submissions can be electronic or hand-drawn. Electronic submissions can be emailed to crowther at fusd.org. The Link Crews have been working hard all year long. They have been helping students to make the transition here at COCA with help from Ms. Garcia and Mr. Smith. They will have special announcements for you guys. All right, good morning, Coconino Panthers. Can you believe that it is already time to welcome the class of 2022 in just a few short months? Well, we are getting ready for Link Leadership, and we are looking for juniors, that's the class of 2019, and sophomores, the class of 2020. Link leaders mentor freshmen and elementary students through various activities during the year. Acquiring a lot of leadership skills that you can use also in school, but also in your life. We are looking for uh, current sophomores and juniors that are willing to lead others who would be accountable to show, show up through all phases of the program during the year, who are willing to take risks, who are respectful for diverse ideas and personalities, and who are enthusiastic. Be sure to look at the application for mandatory dates before you apply and complete the application in its entirety. Deadline is Thursday, March 1st at 3 p.m. in the counseling office. Do you have questions? Are you wondering if you should apply? Feel free to see Mr. Smith or I. We're the Link Leadership Coordinators. And don't forget, the deadline to turn in your application is Thursday, March 1st at 3 p.m. in the counseling office. Good luck Friday, Panthers. Thank you, Ms. Garcia and Mr. Smith. But now, as always, face, face your fears, Panthers. Panthers. Rawr! How's it going, Panthers? Jerome Clark here. And I'm Cody Borden. We have two extra announcements today, and they're a pretty big deal. To start off, the boys' basketball team is facing flag high again for the second time this season. It's a home game, and it'll be a whiteout, but all students need to be to the north end of the building by 5 p.m. See Mr. Freeze for more information. Also, next week, the Architectural Interior Design Program is celebrating FCCLA Week. FCCLA is a national organization for students pursuing careers in family and consumer science occupations. Monday is FCCLA Promo Day. Ask a student wearing an 
FCCLA t-shirt about FCCLA. Tuesday is Career Day, Family and Consumer Science. Career projects that are offered at CHS include interior design and culinary arts. Wednesday is a day to say thanks, show appreciation for those who have been an inspiration. Thursday is Make an Impact Day. Be an inspiration, find a need, and make a difference. And Friday is Unite in Red. Show your support for CHS student organizations by wearing red. That's all the announcements for this week, Panthers. Rawr! Rawr!